Join History Victorum as we visit the Pont de Trou in Chernai, Belgium. It was considered one of only three 13th century military bridges in the world, was considered the largest water gate from that period of time that was still conserved. Its central arch was heavily damaged during World War II by the British Army, and the arch portion was demolished in August of 2019. The city of Ternai was founded by the Romans and was fortified with a wall. The Roman wall was later repaired in the 10th century due to Norman attacks. With the city and population growing, the Roman wall was then replaced with a new set of walls in the 12th century to protect the city. It was during the late 13th century that a larger second wall was built to protect and defend the city. This last wall featured a total of 18 gates and the Pont de Trou bridge functioned as one of two water gates, which are defensive structures that protected the course of the river. The tower on the left bank dates from 1281 when the wall reached the river. This is a tower that we walked through and will visit again later in the video. Once Ternai purchased the quarter, which was located on the other side of the river, the city was able to build on the right bank of the river and continue encircling the city. The tower of the right bank was built in 1302. Around 1329, the bridge spanning over the river and connecting the two towers was completed. You'll notice the towers are flat on the city side, while the countryside is rounded. And the reason for this was that the countryside was the side that would most likely have attacks, and the rounding of the walls assisted them in better resisting cannonballs. The bridge was considered a rare existing example of defenses where a grill was dropped into the river to block enemy boats from entering the city. The bridge saw a lot of fighting with Ternai under siege eight times beginning in 1303 through 1745. This includes a successful defense of the city during the Hundred Years' War, and in the early 16th century, Henry VIII breached the walls of the city. The bridge's name comes from the presence of a lock located nearby that was called Le Trou, meaning holes, whose name was applied by the locals to the bridge. At the beginning of the Second World War, the central arch was dynamited by the British Army. The British troops retreated within the week to the French port of Dunkirk, becoming part of the historic evacuation from Dunkirk back to Britain. In 1948, during the reconstruction of the bridge, it was raised by 2.4 meters to allow more modern barges to get through. This required the arches to be taken down and then rebuilt with the middle arch widened. here towards the city side, the flat side of the tower, you can also see that it has much larger openings. This was designed to allow for light and air to flow into the tower. As I mentioned earlier, the towers have a flat side facing the city and are rounded towards the country. On the wall facing the countryside, you'll notice several items that clearly show the tower's military strength and use. You'll notice that the walls are about three meters thick. Also, the windows facing out towards the country actually have arrow slits for defense, and the doors themselves are rather narrow and were not used for normal traffic.
The demolition of the central arches is part of a project to create a canal that would connect France to the Low Countries. The project will create a 105 kilometer long canal connecting the Seine and the Scheldt rivers. It would allow for increased transportation of trade goods between Paris, Belgium, and the Netherlands. As of the publishing of this video, all reports show that the new bridge will be in the medieval style with a wider middle arch and still contain those two smaller arches on the side, with the original towers remaining as they are right now. Thank you for joining History Victorum. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel.